All right, so we are gonna learn a song called Great Big House. This first time, all I want you to do is listen. I'm gonna play a steady beat, and I would like for you to pat a steady beat, or you can do it on your shoulders. Try to maybe pat, which might be easier for you. Ready? One, two, here I go. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. Put one arm around my wife, the other around my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, fare thee well, my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, with the golden slippers on her. So you're probably wondering, is this house really 40 feet? It's not really 40 feet, or 40 stories, excuse me. 40 stories high, that's just an exaggeration. Um, so there's some other stuff in there. So this time, I wonder if you can keep the beat alternating. So when you pat, go boom, boom. So I'll play something that makes it sound like that. This time, can you listen? There's some in there about golden slippers. What do you think the golden slippers are about? Okay, ready? So alternating hands, here we go. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. I messed up, let me try it again. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. Put one arm around my wife, the other around my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, fare thee well, my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, with the golden slippers on her. So the golden slippers, it's actually a wedding day. Um, so traditionally they would wear golden slippers, the bride would. And that's why he's saying farewell because he's kind of, he's giving his daughter to the, her husband now. Uh, also, there's something in there about mill. What kind of mill do you think there was in New Orleans? I'm not sure, let's listen again. This time though, in the purple-ish, pinkish circle, there's these words that says, mill the sugar cane. Can you go? Mill and pat that with both hands. So mill the sugar cane. Mill the sugar cane. That's I'm gonna do that the whole time. I wonder what's that called when we have a repeating pattern? The ostinato. Yeah, ostinato. Ready? So ostinato is mill the sugar cane. You can say that while I sing. I'm gonna also play it. So see if you can always match my xylophone. Ready? Here we go. Mill the Sugar. Keep that going. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. Put one arm around my wife, the other around my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, fare thee well, my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, with the golden slippers on her. So, they milled sugar, that's why I said, mill the sugar cane. So, how many of you got the asinato? Pretty good while I was singing. I'm gonna give you one more chance, then we're gonna go to the next slide. If you, nope, just, just do the asinato. I thank you too much. One, two, sugar cane. What the sugar cane. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in filled with pumpkin pie. Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. Put one arm around my wife, the other around my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, fare thee well, my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling girl, with the golden slippers on her. How'd you do? Nice. Uh, this time, I'm gonna do the asinato. I want you to sing. You ready? I'm gonna do the asinato once and then you start. I'll give you ready, set, go. You ready? Here you see. Nice. Then we go to the next slide. There's some composition I want you to do.